plus 4, 8, 5. Hello, this is the limbo test. Yes, okay, and thank you very much for participating. This is a test um, which analyzes the states in a temporal in-between, a state of no more, no less. So um, we call it the so-called states in limbo. Um, and we can analyze our moment situation, that is time is simultaneously stretched and shrunk. So it's a time of immobilization. Um, we are in a waiting situation. So I will ask you um, to do this little test. It only takes two minutes. You have to describe your actual state always in two words. And I give you two adverbs in which you fill in your two words. I make an example. I would say rather. So in which state you are rather, you might answer okay. And then I say hardly, and you might say happy. Let's try it. So what is your actual state? It's rather, hardly, almost, actually, quite, partly, already, a bit, approximately, nevertheless, completely, foreseeable. I need now half of a minute to um, find out your diagnosis and I play you a little song and please stay with me, I'm back in a second. So, you fall into the category of the doubter. You are not a native doubter, you doubt by choice. You choose doubt as your companion and ally because it allows you to observe the world very closely, because doubt removes obstacles from your path and allows you to breathe more freely. You constantly make a comparison between knowledge, belief and doubt and then make a decision that continue to give room to doubt. For example, when the scientific facts become overwhelming and seem very convincing, you still choose not the most convincing arguments, but those that might fulfill secret desires. You doubt that you can ever escape doubt. You doubt that you can finish your work or even begin it. You do not doubt that you will die but you doubt that there will be good weather for the funeral. Okay, in case, in case um, you don't recognize yourself in this diagnosis, um, that is then not due to the limbo test. Um, because uh, this test has been developed during the financial crisis of 2008 and 9 by cognitive scientists and a course of psychopolitics at the University of Turku in Finland. And it was updated last year during the pandemic. However, it might be that your specific pandemic condition has not yet entered the classification system. So your category might not yet be found. In this case, we apologize.